Hi guys and welcome to our channel. We are Anna and Edward or two curly heads wandering. In this episode we will explore the magical city of Cambridge. So stay with us until the end to discover amazing places that you can visit here. The City of Learning, or the City of Scholars, are the nicknames for Cambridge due to its renowned universities and rich academic history. Say hi! Hello! <laughs> if you ever get the chance to visit Cambridge, please do not miss the opportunity to get inside the King's College Chapel and grounds. Entrance fee is £12 per person if you're a student or £14.50 as a normal price. King's College Cambridge was founded in 441 by King Henry VI, but the construction of its magnificent chapel, which is perhaps its most iconic feature, began in 446. The chapel took over a century to complete, with various additions and modifications made over the years. Today, it stands as a breathtaking example of late Gothic architecture and remains one of the most renowned landmarks in Cambridge. Whether you're a believer, a history enthusiast or simply an admirer of extraordinary craftsmanship, the King's College Chapel is a place that leaves a lasting impression on all who have the privilege of experiencing it. This place creates an atmosphere that's nothing short of magical. It can feel like you're on a Disney set, spotting everywhere buildings that are shining high in the sky, just like this one. Diversity is the key word for the city. We have witnessed a graduation where Cambridge students are wearing typically traditional academic dresses, which includes a gown, hood and a cap. 
This image takes me back to medieval times or to Harry Potter movie. Everything looks peaceful and dreamy, but if you walk a few streets away, well, you can meet the warriors that are ready for a football battle. <laughs> Such a beautiful extreme, isn't it? We have continued our journey towards Great St. Mary Church, where for six pounds you can climb the 123 stairs and have a great panoramic view over the city. <laughs> it can be a challenge for those that are not physically prepared to climb the stairs. It's a very narrow staircase, so if you are claustrophobic, I will not recommend you to do this. But if you decide to challenge yourself, well, it's worth it. Because the staircase is one way, you will have to wait around 10 to 12 minutes until you can go down. So you have plenty of time to discover your next destination. For us the market looked quite intriguing, so we decided to go and have a look and maybe buy something sweet. For only 12 pounds, we have enjoyed two desserts made out of apples, custard, and shortbread crumbles. They were delicious and fulfilling.
yummy, yummy. Many museums in Cambridge offer free admission to visitors, although some may have suggested donations or fees for special exhibitions or events. Popular free museums in Cambridge include the Museum of Archaeology and Anthropology, which showcases artifacts from around the world. It's always a good idea to check the specific museum's website or contact them directly. This piece, it's called Displace Mihi and was created by the Maori sculptor Lionel Grant, representing the Polynesian cultures. Fun fact about this city is that Cambridge is renowned for its cycling culture, with bicycles of numbering cars in the city. It's a common sight to see students and residents alike navigating the streets on two wheels. Each year, Cambridge colleges host extravagant May Balls, which are lavish formal events held in celebration of the end of the academic year. These balls feature live music, entertainment and sumptuous dinners, making them a highlight of the Cambridge social calendar. Whether you're strolling hand in hand along the cobble paths or admiring the sunset from the banks of the river Cam, the romantic ambience of Cambridge's architecture creates an unforgettable backdrop for the love to blossom. The Round Church in Cambridge, officially known as the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, is one of the city's most unique and intriguing landmarks. 
built in the 12th century. It is one of the four surviving round churches in England and is modeled after the Church of the Holy Sepulchre in Jerusalem. The round church is renowned for its distinctive circular design, which is rare in medieval English architecture. It features a central cylindrical nave surrounded by eight evenly spaced pillars supporting a circular arcade. The architecture is reminiscent of Romanesque style, with nomad influences evident in its construction. Throughout its long history, the Round Church has served various religious and secular purposes, including as a parish church, a meeting place for University of Cambridge students, and even as a venue for theatrical performances. Today continues to function as an active place of worship, and it's also open to visitors who are intrigued by its historical significance and architectural beauty. Hunting on the River Cam is a popular activity in Cambridge where visitors can glide along the picturesque River Cam in flat bottom boats called punts while taking in views of the historic colleges and bridges. We had such an amazing time in Cambridge and we are encouraging you to come and visit as well, as you will not regret it. Thank you for watching and if you liked our video please subscribe to our channel. See you in the next episode. Take care!